What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, and in this video I will do fake interview with Eden Golan, and fake, like, I won't manage the answers, I will manage only the questions, because for the answers there will be chat GPT, and I'm very curious of the results, of course, it should supposed to be fun, also chat GPT is using all the information around the internet, to reinterpret what, how the artist or any other person could probably answer. So I'm very curious where it's gonna get us and I'm very curious what will you say because based on your reaction, I will do more of those fake interviews. Why not? Let's talk! Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm very glad you're here. And before I'm going to start to program Eden Golan, which sounds very, very weird, but this is the era we are living in, I will also ask you for subscriptions, likes, shares, write me in the comments below, and of course you can become a member, having a longer interview, and more interviews just exclusive for the members. And that's it, it's easy as that, you can buy me a coffee, you can give me a super like, of course, to support this channel, and let's start with this crazy task, shall we? So, I have ChatGPT prepared, and I will be just simply talking, I will just put this higher. Hello ChatGPT, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking, how about you? I'm very, very fine. How are you today? I'm very, very fine ChatGPT, thank you for asking me. Uh, I want you to play a game with me today, it's the thing that I'm recording a YouTube video now on two cameras, one it's pointed on you, one it's pointed at me, and I want you to play a role of Eden Golan, who's representing Israel at Eurovision 2024 with the song Hurricane. Would you like to play that game? That sounds like a fun and creative idea. I'd be happy to play along as Eden Golan, representing Israel at Eurovision 2024 with the song Hurricane. What would you like Eden Golan to talk about or do in this game? So we will, the game is called Interviewing Fake Eden Golan and I want you to act like her, answer like it is her and give me a realistic answer, as much realistic as possible based on the data you can check on the internet. What would she probably answer about the song, about the, about the staging, about how she's excited about Eurovision this year and so on. Is it possible for you to do it? get into character for this. Okay. Since I can't browse real-time data or specifics about individuals unless they're well-documented public figures or part of historical records up to my last update in April 2023, I'll need to improvise a bit based on what would be typical for a Eurovision contestant. Let's get started with the interview. As Eden Golan, representing Israel at Eurovision 2024 with the song Hurricane. I'm incredibly excited to represent Israel at Eurovision this year with my song Hurricane. It's a powerful track that speaks to the strength and resilience we all have within us, especially in the face of challenges. We've put a lot of thought into the staging to really bring the song's message to life. The energy, the visuals, and the choreography are all designed to create a memorable experience that I hope will resonate with the audience and the viewers at home. Eurovision is such a unique opportunity to share a piece of our culture with the world, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. The competition is fierce, but it's also a beautiful way to connect with artists from across the globe and celebrate our differences and similarities through music. I'm looking forward to giving it my all on stage and hopefully making my country proud. Remember, the specifics are all made up for this game, but I hope this gives you a good starting point for your video. Yeah, I think it gives me a start, good starting point, it also gives a starting, good starting point for the viewers. So this is inter in, in, interesting. So let's start with the interview and let's start like humans, come on. Hello Eden, how are you doing today? Sounds great. I'm ready when you are. Let's mm -hmm. dive into ah, the interview. This is what she does. Hello Eden, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic, thank you for asking. It's been a whirlwind of excitement and preparation, but I'm feeling energized and ready for everything that's coming up. Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Please try again later. How preparations for the song contest are going now? What can you tell us? The preparations for the contest are in full swing, and it's been an exhilarating journey so far. We've been focusing a lot on perfecting the performance. Everything from the vocals, to the choreography, and the visual effects, to ensure that Hurricane really comes to life on stage. 
We're also spending a lot of time on the emotional connection to the song because we want to ensure that it not only looks spectacular, but also touches the hearts of everyone watching. The team behind the scenes is incredible, and we're all working together to create something unforgettable. It's a lot of hard work, but it's also so rewarding. I can't wait for everyone to see what we've been working on. Oh my God, now I'm excited. Can you tell us how many people approximately are working on the staging with you? Oh, it's quite the team effort. Approximately, we have around 20 to 30 people directly involved in the staging alone. This includes choreographers, stage designers, visual effects specialists, lighting and sound technicians, and of course, the incredible dancer and backup vocalists. Every single person plays a crucial role in bringing the performance to life. It's truly a collaborative effort, and I'm so grateful to have such a talented and dedicated team working alongside me. We're all pushing the boundaries to create an unforgettable show. What is the hardest thing you need to practice? What, what makes you the most excited also about it? And what is the hardcore thing you didn't expect that you need to learn maybe? The hardest thing to practice has been achieving the perfect balance between delivering a powerful vocal performance and executing the complex choreography. It's crucial that the energy and emotion of the song aren't lost amidst the physical demands of the performance. This challenge is also what excites me the most. It pushes me to grow as an artist and performer, testing my limits and allowing me to explore new aspects of my abilities. What I didn't expect to be so challenging was the emotional aspect of preparing for such a big stage. Eurovision is not just another performance. It's a moment where you represent your country on an international platform and there's a weight of expectation that comes with that. Learning to manage those emotions, to use them to enhance the performance rather than let them overwhelm me, has been an unexpected journey. It's taught me a lot about resilience, focus, and the power of connecting deeply with the music and the story it tells. What do you feel when you sing the song? When I sing Hurricane, I feel a profound wave of emotions. The song carries a message of strength and resilience in the face of adversity, and it truly resonates with me each time I perform it. I feel connected not just to the lyrics, but also to everyone who has ever faced a challenge in their lives. There are moments of power, hope, and liberation in the song that are incredibly moving. It reminds me, and hopefully the listeners too, that we all have the inner strength to weather the storms of life. I'm honored to convey this message through music. Yeah, this is fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit more? Let's move on a little bit because this message is of course very strong. But uh, can you tell us more about the staging idea, how it will look in Malmö, how, what we can expect as viewers, what we can expect as a TV viewers? The staging for Hurricane in Malmö is designed to be a visual representation of the song's themes of resilience, strength and the tumultuous journey we all navigate through life's challenges. We're aiming to create an immersive experience that not only captivates the audience in the arena, but also the viewers at home. Expect a dynamic performance that starts with a more intimate setting, symbolizing the calm before the storm. As the song builds, the stage will transform, using a combination of lighting, visual effects, and choreography to mimic the escalating energy and intensity of a hurricane. The use of wind machines, strategic lighting to create the effect of lightning, and projection mapping for visual storytelling will all contribute to the atmosphere. The choreography will reflect the ebb and flow of a storm with moments of calm interspersed with bursts of high energy. We want to take the viewers on a journey, making them feel the power of the hurricane while also conveying a message of hope and resilience. We're putting our hearts and souls into this staging and we can't wait for everyone to see it. What will be the dominant color on the stage? The dominant color on stage will be a deep electric blue. This color choice is symbolic, representing both the power and depth of a stormy sea and the calmness and resilience associated with overcoming challenges. The electric blue will be complemented by flashes of white and silver to mimic lightning and the dynamic energy of a storm. These colors will not only enhance the visual impact of the performance, but also reinforce the themes of strength and survival inherent in the song Hurricane. It's going to create a striking and memorable visual backdrop that aligns perfectly with the emotional and energetic peaks of the performance. And what about the costumes and the dancers? How you will look? 
What is the plan? For the performance, the costumes will mirror the themes of Hurricane, blending elements of strength and elegance. I'll be wearing a custom outfit that embodies resilience and empowerment, crafted from materials that catch the light, creating a shimmering effect reminiscent of rain under stormy skies. It will be both striking and functional, allowing for freedom of movement during the dynamic choreography. The dancers will wear coordinated costumes that complement the overall aesthetic, with shades of blue and silver to match the stage's dominant colors. Their outfits will be designed to enhance the fluidity of their movements, evoking the swirling motion of a hurricane. The costumes, while visually cohesive, will each have unique elements to showcase the individuality of each performer, reinforcing the idea that strength comes in many forms. Together, the costumes and the choreography aim to create a visual representation of the song's message, showing that even in the midst of a storm, there is beauty, strength, and the capacity to emerge stronger. The visual aspect of the performance is crafted to be as impactful and memorable as the song itself. And uh, because this is very interesting, I like you're practicing for it crazily. You have it really in your mind, very sorted out uh, what you're saying. I wouldn't say it better. I, I'm not really sure that anybody would say it better. But uh, can you imagine yourself? Can you imagine yourself going on stage at Eurovision for the first time and imagining your feelings. How do you imagine this moment? You're going for the Eurovision stage for the first time and performing the song. What's in your head? Stepping onto the Eurovision stage for the first time is something I've imagined countless times. And each time, the mix of emotions is overwhelming yet exhilarating. In my mind, as I take that first step onto the stage, There's a moment of pure awe at the magnitude of the event. The lights, the audience, the realization that millions are watching from all over the world. I anticipate a surge of adrenaline, a pounding heart, and a deep sense of pride for how far I've come and the opportunity to represent my country on such a prestigious platform. There's also this grounding sense of responsibility, knowing that I'm not just performing for myself, but for everyone who believes in me and the message of Hurricane. But above all, I imagine a moment of clarity and calm right before the music starts. A reminder of why I'm here, to share a story, to connect through music. And then as the first notes play, I expect all the nerves to transform into energy, driving me to give everything I have to the performance, to live in that moment fully, and to hopefully touch the hearts of those watching. Mm -hmm. It's a once in a lifetime feeling, a blend of joy, gratitude and determination standing on the precipice of something truly magical that's how i imagine it and it's a moment i look forward to with all my heart but you can also this is a fascinating answer but uh, can you tell me also because you will be meeting there another artist and so on are you in contact with those artists already and uh, what is the most common topic of course your vision but what are you really talking about together the main event, there's a sense of camaraderie among the artists participating in Eurovision. Through various pre-show events, social media, and direct communication, we've started to build connections with one another. It's an incredible community, full of diverse talents and stories. Naturally, Eurovision is a common topic. We share our excitement, our nerves, and our hopes for the competition. But beyond that, we often talk about our experiences in music, our creative processes, and the journeys that have brought us to this point. There's a lot of exchange of advice, support, and encouragement, which is invaluable. We also discuss the impact we hope to have with our performances, not just competitively, but on a larger scale, how we can use our platform to inspire or bring attention to causes close to our hearts. The conversations are incredibly enriching, highlighting the power of music to connect people across different backgrounds and cultures. It's one of the aspects of Eurovision I cherish the most, the opportunity to be part of a global music community, learning from each other and celebrating our shared passion. <laughs> okay, so now it's the time to ask you like those last two questions, like who are your favorite artists of Eurovision of all time and also songs? Sure. Feel free to ask your last two questions. I'm here to answer. Who are your 
who are your most favorite artists of Eurovision of all time? As Eden Golan, if I were to pick my favorite Eurovision artists of all time, I'd say ABBA and Loreen are at the top of my list. ABBA's win in 1974 with Waterloo was iconic, not just for their career, but also for Eurovision itself. They've left an enduring legacy on pop music worldwide. Loreen, with her powerful performance of Euphoria in 2012, really captivated me. The song, her stage presence, and the overall production were mesmerizing and truly showcased the modern potential of Eurovision performances. Both acts embody the spirit of Eurovision, bringing together catchy tunes, strong vocals, and memorable performances that resonate well beyond the competition. And which song or which song do you like the most from Eurovision 2024? Since I'm playing the role of Eden Golan, and we're in the midst of preparing for Eurovision 2024, it's tough to pick a favorite song from this year's competition without knowing all the entries. However, participating in Eurovision means I've had the chance to hear a variety of incredible songs from talented artists across Europe and beyond. Each entry brings something unique to the table, whether it's a powerful ballad, a catchy pop tune, or an innovative performance that pushes the boundaries of music and staging. That being said, I would probably be diplomatic and express admiration for all the hard work and creativity my fellow competitors have put into their entries. It's the diversity and quality of the music that makes Eurovision such a special event, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. I look forward to performing alongside so many talented artists and experiencing their music live on the Eurovision stage. Oh my god, I wish I would have such diplomatical tongue as you have. This is perfect. Eden, thank you very much. Uh, I have no other questions, only what I will ask you if you have some message to my viewers, your listeners, uh, something what you would like to tell them as a last words and from me it's a goodbye thank you very much thank you so much for having me to all the viewers and listeners out there I just want to say keep believing in the power of music to unite us to inspire change and to heal remember it's our differences that make the tapestry of humanity so beautiful and through music we can celebrate those differences learn from each other and grow closer I'm honored to share this journey with you at Eurovision, and no matter the outcome, let's keep spreading love, understanding, and kindness. Let's make the world a little brighter, one song at a time. Thank you all for your support, and see you in Momo. So that was Fake Eden, Chat GPT, Golan, and I'm really excited. It was very fascinating interviewing. It was very fascinating experience. So write me in the comments below, how did you like it? Subscribe to the channel, like the video and all those things. You can become a member because I will be probably doing more. You can write me in the comments below, who would you like me to interview like this? What kind of questions I should ask maybe? Maybe you have something very specific in your mind. Do it, uh, use this opportunity and also give me some feedback about this experience because I have no idea what it's in your head, but I'm really excited and thrilled about it of course we can see that the answers are a little bit more superficial but after all it's very interesting how based on experience the algorithms seeing eurovision seeing the artists whatever they say it's basically taken to this interview and how they also feel about how it could look of course it's not feeling it's algorithm so it takes every single information around the internet for this opportunity. So I'm excited. I will for sure continue experimenting with this and you can inspire me in in what way would you like me to also experience ex for me to experiment and just inspire this channel also. This is also your power. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it also for me a lot, you know, honestly. But I'm also doing it for you because I like your feedback and I like and I'm glad that you're watching me and you're just Give chance to this craziness. So thank you for watching guys and see you next time. Bye.